Hey guys, this is Love's Drive 24-7 coming at you with a video. This is going to be a vacuum comparison. Um, I've seen people do these online. Um, my bad. What I've got is an Auric XL versus a Miele um, Artigio. I believe that's what it is. I don't know. But um, it's blue. That's what I know. And it's old. My parents bought it new 12, 13 years ago. But it's been a good vacuum. But I'll show you the vacuums and then we'll get this competition started. Alright. Right here we have the Auric XL. Um, you know, light works. Everything on it works. Uh, needed a belt put on it. That's why I was able to find it in the dumpster. Well, by the dumpster, not in it. But everything about it works the reason why I got this one from my parents is because um, they hadn't changed the HEPA filter ever since they got it and uh, which is this filter right here it's a uh, Mule active HEPA and uh, yeah it you're supposed to change them every year so and this one's been in here for It'll be close to a year next uh, November, but uh, it's a pretty dusty vacuum. It's been used heavily, but what ended up happening was the motor ended up drawing too much current and burnt out a piece of circuitry on the uh, burnt a circuitry chase out on the motherboard. So what I did is I took it apart and used a wire and made a new circuit chase. So now it just works. Um, it's got the Miele Electro Plus powered head, um, auto reverse on the cord. It has a new cord in it, but uh, yeah. And then, of course, you know, this is supposed to pop up, but the little clips are broken, the little springs gone. But there's the uh, blower feature, and there's some of the attachments. But anyway, the purpose of this video is to find out which one is a better vacuum. So what we're going to do is we're going to do shredded paper test. So we're just going to spread that out. Sorry about that. My wife called. But, so this is what we got here. This is a big mess. My wife saw this, she'd kill me. Um, so, we're going to do the Miele on this half, and the Auric on that half. And, wish me luck on trying to get this tripod to do what it's supposed to. Alright, so, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, but first we'll do the orc. Automatic setting. Oh, that's 
Let's go ahead and crank it up. Relay on its highest setting. Let's give Morris one more try. to the melee. Let's take a look at these uh, brushes. All right, so this is the melee. This is after the uh, suction test. And just a pure bristle test. There's the auric. Let's see what that. It's got a blockage. See if uh, all right, I'm gonna set you guys right here. Let's uh, turn it on and see what it spits out at you guys. Well, so that's that one, and then here's the head on this one. No. 
this powered head has never had the belt changed on it. Alright. Now let me show you the difference. Alright. So this is the belt for the Oric, alright? It's smooth. You know, it slips. So it'll cause it to uh, wear out. And the whole time my parents and me have owned this mule, we've never had to change the belt. Now, look at the belt. It's ribbed. So no slippage. So it lasts a whole lot longer. You know, it's real simple to put together. You know, you just put that, pop that down. Twist these two little tabs. One, two. You know, and say, and another thing about this mule, you see that little red light? It's got an auto stop on it, so if it sucks up a uh, carpet or uh, you know like the edge of a rug or a piece of clothing or a cord it'll bind and it'll stop so as soon as it senses binding it stops and the only way to get it to turn back on is you gotta turn off the vacuum for a little bit and wait for it to power back up yeah. after that uh, hard test I think I filled my bag up. Another cool thing about this vacuum for storage, just slide that thing closed, and now it uh, whatever's inside the bag won't crawl out. And say, so, and this has got a system on it to where, well, we're gonna need to change the bag anyway. So, so you pull it out. But these aren't the bags you're supposed to use with it. If you use certified mule bags. When you pull it out, it pulls this thing down. Get that out of the way. And voila. All your dust particles and everything like that are trapped inside the bag. And my parents actually really miss this vacuum because now they've got a Dyson DC-42 and it doesn't even compare to this vacuum. So my word is, if you're thinking about buying a Dyson, for the amount of money you could pay to get one of those, look into a Mule. There's more than likely a Mule canister vac or upright vac that's in your price range. You just have to look. But, you know, right here, see, this has got more filters on it. I mean, it's got a pre filter for the motor and then you just got your HEPA filter which is the output filter very solid vacuum now this one used to have a feature on it called park where if you stuck your wand right here it actually pauses the vacuum but it's long since been disabled by people who've worked on it and epoxied it to fix it. But that's the name brand right there. There you go, folks. I highly recommend this uh, Miele or any Miele product. Uh, they're good vacuums. They last a long time. You know, if you do your proper precautions, like changing your HEPA filter every year, changing that pre-filter, the pre-filter especially, with every uh, time you uh, buy a box of bags, and uh, after you run out and you start a new box, you replace the filter that's there before the filter, uh, the motor, you can get 30 years out of this vacuum. So, yeah. And I know this is the Auric Extended Life, yada yada, but I'm just, I've not been as impressed as I have been with the Miele. So this is the bag. So you gotta pop that down. Woo! Looks like I had a clog.
That paper test was hard on these vacuums. But anyway, this uses a bag CC. You no. Know, and when you pull it off, this one also has a feature where when you pull the bag out, watch. You can feel it? But the biggest problem about the Oryx design with this is this piece right here, I've seen a lot of people say that it breaks, which I believe. But anyway, out of this contest, I'm going to let the viewers just, uh, say what they think was the best vacuum, give their opinions on their vacuums and everything like that. Um, I know some people are going to say Kirby, but I don't have a Kirby to test in this. So, uh, Anyway, this is Loves to Rock 24-7, signing off.